I'll have to look that one up too because I'm not positive as to who that goes to. Morgan, here you go. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable, but I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. <laughs> what? Don't I even get a kiss? <laughs> I suppose something is deserved for all your efforts, is it not? I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be... interesting. Well, that's a random add-on to, uh, to the end of that. <laughs> Makes out and then... Mm! <laughs> Alright, so later on, or I don't know, maybe I could just talk to her now and she might have something to say, maybe? Why is there a quest mark on you? Hold on. Alright, well, I don't want to... Hold on. Is there a side... No? Then what exactly... Mark all is red. Okay. Well then. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Okay. Well then, here, why not? We'll get this story <laughs> while we're here at the camp. So, what's your story exactly? Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I am originally from Orzammar. The famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback <coughs> Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things. Grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Go on. So, as I said, things were going well. But good things must come to an end. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Hmm. And did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for. The lost tides. Th they're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Hmm. How would he feel about this? Uh... I think I'm just going to have him go, I see. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. And now, here you are. Yes, here I am. Now. Is there anything the boy or I can get you? Hmm. 
You didn't mention your son in your tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerum, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here. I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. It may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. That was generous of you. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boy's a natural working with enchantments. He might have even been leery addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. Enchantment. But where do these goods come from? Not the deep roads. Look, we... We don't rob people, alright? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the Lord's Tigs, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. What do you mean? <laughs> People flee from the blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. The blight will not last forever. No, of course not. When it ends, I will go back to finding ruins. Or move on. I don't really have much of a choice. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't think he would go ahead and just start yelling at him about being an opportunistic scoundrel. I don't see him necessarily saying, hey, what you're doing is okay either, though, so... Alright, um, <laughs> the uh, ancient Bioware proverb of Commander Shepard, I should go. <laughs> of course, good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. So there's still a quest marker on him. Alright, um, I have one more chat with more again here to see if yes um i'd like to ask you something so full of questions are you <laughs> nope never mind all right let's let's move on then um i could talk to win and who else did i need to talk to was it Liliana? Let's see if we can talk to Sten. His are usually pretty Why short. Why are we stopping? Um, we're working together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? I need to know if I can trust you at my back. I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. I've never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Get used to disappointment. People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. <laughs> a little hostile, aren't we? Many humans have said that to me. I do not understand it. 
If I were indeed hostile, you would be bleeding. <laughs> so, this is you being calm and helpful? Couldn't you tell? <laughs> oh, Stan. You know what? Just follow orders and you'll do fine. As you wish. <laughs> yes. We're not done yet. I wanted to, wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. I think there should be something. No, I guess not. Then That's I enough for now. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to Ferelden? To answer a question. What was the answer? Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. Don't you have to report back then? Yes. <laughs> when are you going to do that? Never. I cannot go home. Why not? It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. Okay. How about let's see if that opens something up. Oh, no, 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 no. Speak then. Okay, guess not. Then I suggest we move on. All right, let's go. Let's go. As you wish. Okay. Um, I want to say that I do need to talk to her. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Why not? I'm here. And you do it eventually. I think Well oh, yeah. here I am. <laughs> I was started reading, I think something it was like I think you should go. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain. But I had a dream. In it there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. You dreamed of the blight? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. That's just wishful thinking, Liliana. I suppose you will never understand. No one does. It's alright. I know what I know. And no one will ever make that untrue. <laughs> He's not exactly a guy of the maker, so, uh, yeah. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. What was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. <laughs> yes, they tend to be self-righteous. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. What did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. 
but it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. She just disapprove again, or is that from before? I think that's from before. Hold on. I guess there's one way to tell. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. I don't know what she was at before. Yes. I'd like to talk. I think there's one more option. Well, here I am. What would someone like you be doing in Lothering's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. And why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not pride, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Well, let me see if that opened anything Yes. Up. Well, here I am. Ugh, I don't really want to... No, we're not going to get into her tales. <sighs> Let's talk to Wynn. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Are you alright? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> There's still some life in those old bones, I bet. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. You're not allowed to be done quite yet. Oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. I'll see this through, I promise. Aww. Have you encountered many abominations, apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? No, the ones in the tower were the first I've ever seen. The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmares stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. Hmm. But it... it it is this knowledge that drives you to be cautious. One slip. All it takes is one slip, and everything you are is simply gone. Replaced by madness. And there is no turning back, or at least that's what they say. You have doubts? Of late, I have begun to wonder if... if there is any way an abomination can be... cured. Or, if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity, their humanity. Hmm. If one retains one's humanity, one is not an abomination. Yes. It is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. 
So, the thing that's interesting about this, that I don't think you ever actually learn except in, say, lore or, like, maybe the books that are attached to the series. I think at this point, I think it was when she was, was it, was, was it when she was in Ostagar where she almost died and, um, she's actually only still around because the spirit of faith kind of, like, joined with her, I guess, so she's not exactly an abomination, but she's not entirely human anymore.